Hello there, good evening and welcome to the Cradle TV show. My name is Anobo Mbonko. I'm excited to have you on today's edition of the show. So I urge you to stay and you're definitely going to learn a thing or two. I step aside for a quick break and when we return, the rest of the show continues. Thanks for tuning in. Stay with us. Mr. Alex Odita is the 13th controller of prisons at Akwaibum Command. He is one of the most experienced and intelligent officers of the Nigerian Prison Service, an administrator per excellence, a great reformer. He joined the service as an assistant superintendent of prisons and by God's special grace rose to the rank of the controller of prisons before his appointment as controller of prisons at Kwaibum Command. He has saved the Nigerian prison service in various capacity. He was Assistant Controller of Prisons in Charge Operations Lagos Command, Deputy Controller of Prisons in Charge Sapele Prisons, Deputy Controller of Prisons in Charge Onicha Prisons, Senior Special Assistant to Delta State Government on Prisons Martyrs, and Controller of Prisons Zonji Benin. Just to mention, but a few. Mr. Alex Odita holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in Management Studies from University of Joss and a Master's degree in Public Administration from Delta State University. He's a fellow Nigerian Institute of Corporate Executives. He is happily married with children. Welcome back and good evening. Emmanuel Lufon is my name. I'm going to be the anchor. At this moment, I'm presenting before you the man the entire Bible might have been straining to hear from. The man in which his impact has been ringing bells so far ever since he took over as the controller of prison at Bible State Command. I'm talking about no other person but a man who is working in line with the yearnings and aspiration of His Excellency President Mohammed Buhari in the fight against corruption in the workplace. He is no other person than C.P. Alex Odita. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you for finding time with us despite your tighter schedule. Sir, we want to take you on the challenges uh, plaguing the prisons and private states. Um, though the law that's been passed that um, it will be changed to Nigerian Correctional Services, but uh, we, we won't dwell on that yet. But um, uh, let's take you on the challenges you've faced so far, ever since you assumed duty as a controller of prison and private state. Um, thank you for having me. The challenges we have in Aquaibon states is peculiar to the challenges we have another prison formation. You know, our uh, major responsibility is reformation, rehabilitation, and reintegration. And for us to do this effectively, certain things have to be put in place. So one of the factors militating against our achieving this objective is congestion in prison. If you look at uh, my board, you see for instance your prison has the capacity of 613 originally, but what is on the board there is 1,234. Approximately 1,300. You can see the facilities are overstretched. The effects of what the service is doing may not be felt because of the congestion. Because the general prisons, since he assumed office, has taken it upon itself to ensure that most of this items, materials needed by the prison, prisoners, inmates, are provided. Medicine and medicaments. If you go to our prisons, it's covered that we we'll have a lot of medicine and medicaments for inmates. Uh, we're talking of blankets, bed sheets, mattresses. 
they bring we provide they provide all of this almost every quarter. Well, because the influx into the prison kept increasing because of the crime, particularly immediately after the election, the prison, the, the population in the prison went up again. Courtism is there, child theft, arm robbery, kidnapping, and so the rape. And those are most of these uh, crimes are capital offenses that the judges found difficult to grant uh, bail. Our inmates' population in most of our prisons, it's covered that over seventy percent of them are persons awaiting trial. And when we're talking about reformation, you cannot engage a person that was in trial on any particular trait because you don't know this date of discharge. Yeah. Okay, sorry before we go back to that. Um, are you saying the criminal justice system mm -hmm. is in trouble? The criminal justice system is in trouble in the dispensation or in the dispense of justice? Yeah, I, yes, I may, I may say, I may not say that, you know, because they will tell you that because of this, uh, the, cap the nature of the offenses, because last time when the chief judge came to, for prison visitation, usually the uh, reporter little, right. when he comes, he looks at the warrant and discharge and release those he thinks are, are not supposed to be in prison. But it's covered that he does not touch those who are serving capital punishment. And those are the people who constitute the larger percentage of people who are in our custody. He will tell you, do you want me to release somebody who is detained for rape so that he go outside and rape more people? You want me to release a kidnapped uh, person so that he will go and continue his uh, kidnapping. So at times, it's that their, their hands are also tied. That's the truth. How are you going to work with relevant uh, stakeholders to achieve uh, this, uh, the dispensation of justice and uh, look into the, the justice system so that these inmates, those who are not to be hold or uh, ransom for this offense, can have their justice? Already, there's a synergy between the prison service and other relevant uh, <coughs> agencies. But the, the truth about the matter is that um, when you get to the court to prove your case beyond the reasonable doubt is the issue. Is that the issue? We have uh, the synergy is there. If the court can speed up. Process. The process. If they can speed up the process, I think uh, the issue of congestion will be addressed. Because some of them have long adjournments. Either the, the prosecutor is not available, they are doing their cases. They come again, the prosecutor is not available, the lawyer to the, the, are not available. So they keep. Uh, I don't these uh, cases. If they were able to speed up the, <coughs> the cases, I'm sure so, to some extent it will address the issue of, uh, of congestion. Mr. Alex Odita is the 13th controller of prisons at Akwaibum Command. He is one of the most experienced and intelligent officers of the Nigerian Prison Service and administrator per excellence, a great reformer. He joined the service as an assistant superintendent of prisons and by God's special grace rose to the rank of the controller of prisons before his appointment as controller of prisons at Kwaibum Command. 
He has saved the Nigerian prison service in various capacity. He was Assistant Controller of Prisons in Charge Operations Lagos Command, Deputy Controller of Prisons in Charge Sapele Prisons, Deputy Controller of Prisons in Charge Onicha Prisons, Senior Special Assistant to Delta State Government on Prisons Martyrs, and Controller of Prisons Zone G Benin. Just to mention, but a few. Mr. Alex Odita holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in Management Studies from University of Joss and a Master's degree in Public Administration from Delta State University. He's a fellow Nigerian Institute of Corporate Executives. He is happily married with children. Okay. Apart from state government, is your landlord. Uh, from our underground check, we've seen that um, erosion has created def a defense of the prisons. And uh, in fact, the, the road, the access road leading to the prison is in the sorry states. So to avoid an issue of uh, one day, we hear that um, there is also a prison break in Akwaibo. Uh, what are you doing? How is your, have you sent a message to His Excellency the Governor to, on how to target the erosion manage that is almost taking over the fence of the prison? Yeah, the, we have written a series of letters to the state government. But the Governor, Last year, sent his team from Ministry of Environment and they provided some intervention measures, measures because uh, it was really bad at that time. But the service on his own is uh, also had uh, done some. some yes, and uh, when the, the current that comes to that place is very heavy. As soon as it was uh, reinforced, it sweeps off every. You know, the service is also trying to see the their political funds. Because I met with the CG, they are also is on top of the matter. But this, uh, the state government last year they provided uh, some intervention, which they also have agreed that this year they are going to also do something. And I believe they will. Uh, address that matter because if the fence gets down, of course we cannot guarantee the safety <laughs> of uh, the prisoners <laughs> anymore. Another break. <laughs> <laughs> we experienced another break here. Yeah. All right, um, though you've said uh, the signal has not yet uh, come mm. on the new changes um, according to, uh, as a result of the law that has just been passed, but I think um, it wouldn't be bad if you do justice by letting your audience and um, hear about the contents. The contents is out. What it's all about. The changes from the prison service to the correctional service. The content is out. I think uh, you can uh, share a little. No, for the me, contents. the we have not been briefed. Okay. Fully yeah. The contents. Yeah, we have not been briefed. We are waiting for Convergenal to brief us. Okay. So I will not delve into that. But I uh, should know that if that is uh, if, if if it takes off, okay. it will help in the congestion the prison because uh, for all we read, it's not all manner of uh, uh, offenses, okay. offenders that will be coming to the prison. I'm sure to so a very large extent it will help in the in the congestion the prison. Okay. I think that's how much I can go on that. Right. Um, over years, and I think uh, for a long while now, we've not heard about amnesty. The prison, I mean, uh, coming to so what was the challenge? Why is it not coming up? See, this amnesty is peculiar to a Bible because if you go to rivers, the amnesty is functional, you go to Delta, is functional, you go to Lagos, is functional, even Cultural, like that is functional. But I don't, uh, sometime last year, they uh, inaugurated the board, amnesty board, and they came to this place. We have a robust discussion with them. And we were expecting that in during December, the month of December, the amnesty was going to come to prison to release some inmates. And I went to the I went to all over the command, and I told them that uh, for sure the amnesty is going to. Because each time I visit them, they always make references to amnesty, and some who are not from Akwaibo keep putting pressure that we should transfer them to the state where they are likely to enjoy okay. amnesty. So the amnesty board, they came to this place. They have very robust uh, discussion. The assurances they gave to me was quite high. You know, but uh, 
Because most games, not so, the, uh, not so we... Where they are now, we don't know. For us in the service, we don't want to believe that there's are in our Bible. Don't do, uh, until they begin to affect the life of people in the prison. Okay. I want to, at this point in time, say that there is no need of asking you about your workings and your relationship with him. Uh, between your staffs here because we've seen it um, even while we are coming here that you are running an open door policy whereby your staffs are free to walk up to you and tell you and probably drop memos as against the backdrop of the practice of in the force whereby it's a order bam 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 so and okay at this point in time let us take you on your message to your staff your message to his excellency our president your message to our state governor the president uh, of the country, <laughs> President uh, Mohamed Buhari, we know has taken interest in the prison. He has uh, mandated that 5,000 capacity prisons should be built in every Jupiter casual. 5,000 5, capacity. capacity. Yes. No light on that side. So in Kano prison, they have almost uh, almost seventy five percent completion. Wow. I visited the place, so I saw it. So what is happening to acquire himself? In um, Kano is for the it's geopolitical one, six okay, geopolitical okay, zone. Okay, okay, okay. For this house, the house they are uh, starting in Port in Port Okay. Why the delay in Port Harcourt was acquisition of uh, land. But this is controller of prison acquired uh, River State have told me that they have acquired uh, the land. I'm, I'm sure in before December they will start up uh, something. So uh, the president is uh, is prison friendly. President is prison friendly. For acquired bomb, we want to believe that the governor after his uh, the success in the, this uh, election, will uh, look towards the service and uh, assist us in um, some of the essentials, particularly vehicles, particularly vehicles to convey means to court. And you see the no. access road to your prison. It's really state. bad. We have uh, pleaded, and the uh, CJ has uh, promised us that we will uh, pick it up. But even if you give us a new vehicle, I don't take my vehicle to that place. Even if you give us a new vehicle, if you uh, go on that road for two months, the vehicle will uh, get damaged. So it's also uh, another serious uh, problem. We want to believe the. The Chief Judge, he has promised that he's going to discuss the matter with the His Excellency. I would want to believe that uh, in no time they will come and address that matter. Just the way they address the, the issue, that intervention, you, you know, they address the issue of um, erosion in the, in the prison. Well, as a father, as an advisor, a mentor, a philanthropist of no mean repute, in retrospect, I believe you are not expecting uh, people, more people from Bible to the prison. <laughs> so, uh, what will be your advice to the would be the youths in the society and uh, the elderly and all those and um, the component of the society? You see, I think uh, the larger population of uh, inmates we have in our prisons are youths, and. Uh, that they say, and I don't mind, is the devil's workshop. Because they are, perhaps they are not engaged, they think to crime. Crime is not a way out. Because like the Americans say, if you do the crime, you do the time. <coughs> Let them look for something productive to do. 
let them look for something productive to do. They should shun courtesy and drug because when they are they stop the system with drug, they go into crime. And our, our parents too should they ensure they know what their children do. Because it's not uh, just enough for you to train your child and you push him to the streets. There are no jobs everywhere. But that is not to, uh, um, because there are no jobs, crime. does not suggest that you go that into crime. Increase. No, they should find themselves some productive things. It's not only government that should provide employment. No, people sell recharge cards. You involve you one trade or the yeah. other. They so don't just uh, depend on government uh, employment. Because how many people can the government employ? In the true sense of it, how many people can the government employ? So the youths advise them to look elsewhere other than crime. Yeah. Thank you. I believe I'm vindicated and uh, that you might have had an impactful moment listening to him from all that has been said about him all over the town and the whole Aquarium State. Thank you for giving us your audience. We hope to hear from him some other time. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. We hope me. to hear from you some other time. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. On so many other issues. Thank you. It's a pleasure my, having you. It's my pleasure. Mr. Alex Odita is the 13th controller of prisons at Aquaibum Command. He is one of the most experienced and intelligent officers of the Nigerian Prison Service, an administrator per excellence, a great reformer. He joined the service as an assistant superintendent of prisons and by God's special grace rose to the rank of the controller of prisons before his appointment as controller of prisons at Aquaibum Command. He has saved the Nigerian prison service in various capacity. He was assistant controller of prisons in charge operations Lagos Command, deputy controller of prisons in charge Sapele prisons, deputy controller of prisons in charge Onicha prisons, senior special assistant to Delta State Government on prisons martyrs, and controller of prisons Zone G Benin. Just to mention, but a few. Mr. Alex Odita holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in Management Studies from University of Joss and a Master's degree in Public Administration from Delta State University. He's a fellow Nigerian Institute of Corporate Executives. He is happily married with children. Welcome back. This is where we come to the end of the show. Thanks for staying tuned on the Cradle TV show. We return same time, same station to do much better. From me to you, have a terrific weekend. Goodbye.